Hi, my name is Bilal Kashif and you are watching iExpert360 Introduction to Computer Networks Day 18 Training Series and today the topic of our training is Router on a Stick. So this is a very interesting topic and it is related to both routing as well as switching. Many of the ISPs use this topology and use this uh, uh, protocol to run their network more efficiently. So we'll recap on what is VLANs and trunk ports and then we'll see the concept of router sub interfaces that what are the router sub interfaces and how can we create them and how we can associate them with our multiple VLANs. And then we'll configure a lab topology using router on a stick and then we'll verify our topology and then we will conclude this video. So let's get started. First of all, this is the topology of what we have so far studied about VLANs and trunks. So what is a VLAN? A VLAN carries multiple... So this is the VLAN. Here we have two computers working on the VLAN. So in our previous videos, we have studied that what are the features of our VLANs and how we can create them. So the basically VLANs are used to control the broadcast of a switch and it is also helpful if we want to uh, just make use of different networks in a switch. Let's suppose we have this switch and we want to use 192.168.1. Dot one dot one network here and then we have another switch which is which I want to use a different network address 192.168.2.1 so what we can do if we have a manageable switch it doesn't matter we have a layer 2 switch or a layer 3 switch if we have a manageable switch of Cisco or any other vendor we can just divide that switch not physically but logically we can have more than two or three or five networks and we can associate few ports just like we have done this we have associated two ports port number 1 and port number 2 with VLAN 10 which is having a network of 192.168.10.0 and similarly we have associated port number 3 and port number 4 on another VLAN that is VLAN 20 and we are using a different network here so basically these this two PCs and these two PCs cannot ping each other but we can we can configure a switch there in such a way that they also can ping each other having different networks and this is where our trunk came into work Basically, a trunk is a port which carries the data of all of the VLANs. So, in the upcoming topology, we will be configuring trunk and then you'll be seeing that how a trunk is configured and how a trunk actually works. So, this is a concept of router sub-interfaces. Just like we can divide a switch into logical uh, interface like we can have multiple VLANs uh, just like that in the router we can have sub interfaces like there would be actually physically it would be one interface but we can create multiple sub interfaces and associate multiple VLANs with them so if we have a layer 2 network sw switch and we have to make communication between uh, possible between different VLANs we need a router but if we have a layer 3 switch we would not be requiring a router there would be only a single command and that topology is also in our upcoming video so these are the commands which are used to create a sub interface enable then config t then you can see the actual port address is fa0 slash 0 but this dot 1 is the sub interface and then we can assign IP address to that in interface and then we can associate a VLAN see encapsulation dot 1q that is the encapsulation and here we can add a VLAN ID so this is how we can create 
and this is a topology with which today we are going to configure in packet tracer see we have a router here actually if we uh, what is the basic purpose of this topology see we can have VLANs these are my two PCs and these are my other two PCs what is the use of this switch and this router over here actually this is a layer 2 switch and as we all know layer 2 switches doesn't support routing so if I want to ping from this PC a PC to this PC let's suppose this is my a PC and if I am having a layer 2 switch that is 2960-24 TT I am not able to ping from this computer to this computer because the networks are different so in that case I need a router I will configure two sub interfaces in the router and associate my VLANs in this single interface so when this A will ping B the scenario would be the packet would go from switch then to router and then back to switch and then back to the VLAN ports of route PCB so that is, uh, that is how my ping would work so let's get started in packet tracer and let's configure this topology I'll see you guys in packet tracer so here I am in my packet tracer and there is nothing uh, there is no configuration right now in my switch or in my router only I have assigned IP addresses to my PCs to save the time and that is 10.0.0.10 here and default subnet mask and this is the gateway so in this case this 10.0.0.1 will be my IP address of the sub interface that I will configure in my router later and same is the case with the, the VLAN 20 I have set an IP address 20.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.
these four ports are added individually or not show VLAN brief so as you can see we have a VLAN 10 name management active and two ports are added fast internet 0 slash 1 and FA 0 slash 2 and if we want to see uh, we can see that VLAN 20 is also in our accounts name accounts and it is active and it is fast internet 0 slash 10 and fast internet 0 slash 11 so we have to assign IP addresses to these VLANs so what we will do just like VLAN 1 we will go config T interface VLAN 10 IP address in VLAN 10 we have 10 networks so I will give 10.0.0.5 255.0.0.0 and then no shut and just like that I'll go in VLAN 20 VLAN 20 IP address and no shut I'm using the up arrow key if I want to repeat same command with little changes so right now we have configured two VLANs we have assigned IP addresses and we have also assigned port to that VLANs show IP interface brief your IP in brief is a short form so we have VLAN 10 and VLAN 20 with IPs okay and we have to no shut our VLAN 1 config D interface VLAN 1 no shut and we're good to go so let's try to ping from this PC to our switch ping 10.0.0.5 and we are able to ping our PC to our switch and what is the IP addresses 10.0.0.10 okay let's try to ping from this PC to other PC ping 10.0.0.20 so as we can see we can ping it okay but what if I want uh, what if this PC wants to communicate with the other PC on other VLAN if you ping ping 20.0.0.10 this PC won't reply because these are two different networks request timeout and then an other request timeout so this PC won't pink and the whole purpose of this lab is to make communication possible between two different VLANs using a layer 2 switch and a router so what we are going to do now we are going to create a trunk port here so how we can create a trunk port config T I have assigned a uh, wire in FA0 slash 3 I'll go interface FA0 slash 3 switch mode switch port mode and if I question mark we are having three options by default it is the dynamic option that is already running so we want to create a trunk port switch mode switch port mode trunk okay now this port is acting as a trunk and then what we are going to do we are going to allow VLANs on this trunk so switch port trunk allowed question mark VLAN then question mark we can just use these options add if you want to add specific VLANs or all if you want to allow all VLANs and accept if we want to deny some VLANs and allow some so we are here going to use all so this is how we have configured trunk interface on our switch so how we can verify it show interface 
trunk so right now it is not showing something because this protocol is down so when we will configure our router this uh, port will be up and it will show us but we can verify it in show run and we can see that our port is acting as a trunk so let's configure our router now let's configure the sub interfaces of our router so I am using 1841 router for this lab and enable config T interface so what sub interfaces we will be creating fa0 slash 0 dot 1 okay fa0 slash 0 dot 1 okay and we have to use encapsulation first encapsulation question mark dot 1 q and then we have to give VLAN ID and I'm using 10 okay now I will assign IP address IP address 10.0.0.1.2.5.0.0.0 and no shut and for other sub interface f is 0 slash 0 dot 2 IP address from the range of 20 so we already configured as but okay configuring IP routing on the LAN sub interface only allowed in that okay see it is going it, I have entered this command to let you know if you try to enter IP address before encapsulation it will give you an error so what you're going to do interface fa0 slash 0.2 and first you have to enable encapsulation encapsulation 20 now it is now it will not give you an error see then there is no error and now we want to unshut the port interface fa0 slash 0 no shut when we enter the no shut command the port is now up and we will wait for it to sync and then we'll ping from this PC to this PC and let's see if this configuration works because the main purpose is to ping from this side to this side so let me try to ping it command prompt when we try to ping it before it was giving us an error but when we hit now it will ping see we are getting reply because if I can use this a simulator I can let you know that how this whole thing is working so how this whole thing is working a packet when this PC try to ping this PC a packet flows from this switch and the trunk carries that packet to the router the router then shift the packet to an other VLAN and give the response back to switch and then that packet is broadcast in an other VLAN that is VLAN 20 and the packet is received from here and reply also came back so if I want to ping other PC ping 20.0.0.20 and I hit enter I will get a response because all the routing is done by switch right now and the switch is the uh, and basically what is happening here the switch carries all our data for of VLAN 10 and VLAN 20 and delivers it to a router and then router distributes that packet back to the switch and the switch broadcasts that packet in its specific VLAN broadcast domain so we have configured this topology and we have know that how we can create a sub interfaces and how we can create trunk port and how we can assign ports to a VLAN how we can assign IP addresses to a VLAN and we have a fully working topology which is router on a stick using a layer 2 switch 
so we have just created this topology in the packet tracer and we have also tested and verified that we are able to ping from PC over here to PC over here we are happily pinging the these both sides without any issues and same how we can ping from this side to these PCs also because a ping is a two-way communication the packets are sent and received to make the ping possible so this brings us to the conclusion of this video and what f what we have learned so far is how we can create VLANs and how we can assign ports to it how we can assign IP addresses to that created VLANs and what are trunk ports and how we can create trunk port and how we can configure them and how we can allow the flow of VLANs on a trunk and how we can configure router on a st stick like what are the sub interfaces and how encapsulation works and how the packets are transferred from one VLAN to another VLAN and make the communication possible between two different networks and two different VLANs so in the upcoming video we are going to learn about inter VLAN routing using a layer 3 switch I hope you understand this uh, video and stay tuned to get the latest notifications from our channel Thanks a lot for watching and I'll see you in my next video. If you like this video, subscribe our channel, like our video, post your valuable comments. You can contact me at my Facebook, my WhatsApp, my email address, on my YouTube channel by posting your valuable comments and on my Skype. So thanks a lot for watching, stay tuned.